Hey guys, today is the beginning of me posting on YouTube of these videos that I wanted, I wanted to be like journals, not like vlogs, but the idea of journaling. Instead of writing it down, I want to put it on video. And there's a few reasons why um, I want to do this. So one of them is that I never really like to write down things at all. I think for me, a lot of learning comes visually. So I think doing videos like this can really help me journal better instead of writing things down. Um, secondly, I know the benefits of journaling and being able to have all these history that you that ha has happened in your life and that you can look back into it in detail. I think that's really important for your personal growth or just looking back, um, being able to look back and feel what you were feeling and also see how much you've grown. So this is the start of me doing that. And also the reason why I am starting today, the day of 4th of July, is America's birthday. And I'm here by myself in a city that I'm not familiar with in Athens, Georgia. Uh, a little bit about me, I am from Malaysia and I have been an international student in America since 2017. And I'm currently first year finish from my master's degree. So why am I starting to do this today? I just have been having, I was able to have a lot of alone time coming to this internship and really reflect on my life and what had happened and what I really want in the future and where I want to go. And I think this is a big step in and that that can help me in my future. That can be potentially beneficial for me and maybe somebody else who is interested. But I have lived in Arkansas um, since 2017 and I'm currently going to school at the University of Arkansas and I'm only here for two months. So I think that's one of the reasons that really made me want to do something. I think I've always had something in me that is different from the general people. So I think that's one of the reasons that I was really attracted to coming to America even before I came, while I was in Malaysia. So right now, in the midst of it, I guess it's some sort of a dream come true because I always wanted to be a dreamer, a dream chaser, since I was a kid, I think it's a big part of being a Gen Z because of our media and the this generation and our culture of wanting to be successful and wanting to chase financial freedom and getting the most out of life. And I think I'm also one of those, but I've learned a lot of things along the way of whether this is just a great idea, just something that people want to fantasize about or people want to clap about, or is it really life-changing for a person? And for me so far, I think this really depends on the person. For me, I think I think it has been a tough journey, especially being a foreigner in America and trying to chase that dream. But I've also learned a lot along the way and improved on many aspects of my life and learn and grow to be a better person. So I think for me personally, it's worth it. And even though I'm still in the process of in the journey of going to where I want wanting to be, 
I've also learned to really enjoy the process instead of just waiting for the next big, instead of just waiting for the next big thing to happen. And I think in the past, I've always done that. Just really can't wait and so eager to get to the next step that I forget. And I can't enjoy the moment in between. And overall, what I want to say to end this journal is that my mindset is strong. I'm a dreamer and I'm going to enjoy the process. Whether I make it or not, this will be a great memory to look back to. And I know I can learn a lot from it. And hopefully somebody else who's watching this can also. So thanks.